Oh, goodness. We just got destroyed on the little plopper. How's it going today, guys? Creek Crawler here. I am in central Ohio and currently in the Big Darby Creek, I believe I'm in. I found a bridge, found a little parking spot, got off the side of the road. We're going to do a little adventure in this creek. I've never really fished it before. I stopped at it one time, but it was really flooded. And I mean, I just stayed under the bridge and pitched a couple times and didn't really fish it. So we're going to explore this creek. I'm going to go for my first topwater smallmouth of the year on the little Whopper Plopper 60, the little uh, mini one they made just recently. So we're going to throw the plopper. We're also going to throw the Helgramite too. So if we miss a blow up on the on the plopper, we'll throw the Helgramite in there. Pitch the Helgramite and some current, drift it down near some boulders and uh, woody cover. So stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch the fish today, guys. Let's go. All righty. Do a quick gear check before we get started down here. I got my 610 medium extra fast. We're going to try this Whopper Plopper down here. This is the 60F Whopper Plopper, the smaller one they just came out with recently. Perfect little small mouth size. It's bite size for any small mouth from 10 inches all the way up to 18. So we'll give this a shot down here at the Big Darby. Never fished this creek before, so I'm pretty excited about it. So hopefully we get into some fish. Oh, goodness. We just got destroyed on the little plopper. Come on, come in, baby. Wow. This fish just... What do we have? Big old small jaw. Big old small jaw. My first ever Darby Creek Smalley on the plopper. What? You have got to be kidding me. Look at that Smalley. <laughs> wow. He just absolutely crushed this thing. Let's get a measurement on him. I don't think he's going to help us in the brawl, but I just want to get a length on him just to... Wow, what a beauty. First time really fishing this creek before. 17 incher. That blow up was insane. That's like my first small he landed on the little plopper 62. What an awesome fish. That blow up was incredible. There he goes. <laughs> Let's go. That was awesome. Starting to rain pretty good too. So far from walking just this tad bit that I have, this creek is phenomenal. It's deep. There's good current flow. And I've already got a nice smallie on the plopper. We might, we might throw some other baits today too, but I'd like to get some topwater bites because it's an overcast day, rain showers here and there. I just think the topwater bite might be the way to go. It's definitely a lot funner seeing a big smallie come up and crush your little plopper. But yeah, we'll just keep chugging along. I'm gonna wade this creek for a while. If the rain gets too bad, I'm gonna have to find shelter somewhere, but we're gonna keep it going along the bank. All right, I missed a fish here at the front of this little riffle. I missed a fish over there by that grass over there. I missed one downstream. So we'll, I put the obsidian Helgramite on just to help them locate a little bit better. The water's pretty clear, but we'll go with the obsidian black Helgramite. Nice natural presentation here in the creek. Let's see if we can't pick those fish up. Hooked up. little one we'll take it in a new creek just drifting that hugger might through a little riffle picked us up our second big darby smallie there you go buddy all right we went back through that deep hole with the hugger might picked up one of the fish that we missed just a little like 10 inch small mouth but we couldn't get the others to hit i might have to switch up to a six ounce jit six ounce EWG TT Nedlock Z head because the 10th ounce I don't think this creek is surprisingly deep I didn't re realize it was going to be this deep so we'll have to get that 6th ounce on there you want that Helgramite on the bottom or as close to it as possible to look natural so we're going to move upstream a little bit hopefully we can find another pocket like that because that was pretty pretty awesome even though I missed those fish it was pretty cool to see them blow this up Ooh, 
There we go. I knew there'd be one over there. Oh, he got off. Man, it's hard for me to button them with these whopper ploppers. I don't know about you guys, but I have a severe issue with getting these guys to stick and get to the bank. Come up on a nice bend here in the creek. It looks absolutely amazing here. Hopefully we can pull some smallies. I don't know, there might be some largemouth and spotted bass in here too. Let's see what happens. No follows or hits on the first cast. But this spot's got to have fish in it. Ooh. Ooh, got one. Come here, buddy. Just a little guy, but smoked it. Looks like he's been caught before, too. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Chill, chill, chill. Heck yeah. Another little nice small jaw. Good bub. He came up and absolutely crushed it. Ooh, come back for it. Got him. <laughs> Just let it drift down the current. Came back and got it. That was awesome. I think I'm kind of learning strategy here. Not catching huge fish, but I'm in a completely new body of water. I've never fished in my life. So I will take these all day. There you go, buddy. And on top water, it's even better. Hooked up. Just letting that Helger might drift down that current. Oh, there's another one Follow. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Stay on there this time. I've missed like two or three fish over in that hole. Drifting that little Helgramite. Little Smalley. Yo, buddy. Hooked up. This one feels nicer. Oh yeah. A little bigger than that last one. There, buddy. They're smoking the city and Helgramite. It's a better fish. Heck yeah. Here you go. That's a good one. Heck yeah. And that current, man. Come here, come here. There we go. Heck yeah. Awesome fish. Starting to rain pretty good. We're going to have to bounce out of here soon. Well, he inhaled the Helgramite. <laughs> Beautiful fish. There you go, buddy. There we go. I don't know that root lot over there. 
came out and hammered it. Chill, buddy. Little chunker. Still like spawning marks, still. It's starting to rain pretty good. I don't want to be out here with my camera gear too long because if it, if I am, it'll get ruined and then I have to go find a new GoPro on Amazon or something like that. So I don't want to lose my camera gear. Don't want to get it ruined. So I'm going to end the video on that awesome fish. I hope you enjoyed the action. Um, I can't ask for much more. I've never, like I said, I've never fished this creek before. Caught a beautiful 17 incher, a bunch of 12, 13 inches. Just had a great time. Missed a lot of blow ups on the plopper. I have problems connecting with that lure. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and comment down below. If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go. Well, I was walking to my car, put my camera gear up and sure enough, I was like, I'm gonna fish my way to the car. And I end up sticking a 20 inch saw guy out of the Darby. Check that out. Beautiful fish. Literally put my camera up. The next cast, fishing this deep hole right here. This beautiful saw guy smoked the Helgramite. What? <laughs>